This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. When declaring your variables and constants and arrays, another thing you need to bear in mind is the lifetime of your variable and the scope of your variable. Now, when you're declaring your variables as we did here within procedures, so that's within a function or within a subroutine, the lifetime of that variable is the lifetime of the function. So however long the call to that function takes is how long that variable effectively will live for. The scope of that variable is only within that procedure. So I can only access my name whilst I'm calling this function. I cannot use the my name variable anywhere else in the whole of this access application. If I want to use the my name variable throughout the whole of the access application, then I need to declare it at a much higher level at the module level. So effectively, here I am in my guy code, which is a standard module. If I move up to the top here, after the two option compare database and option explicit, the option explicit, don't forget, means that all your variables must be declared. I can actually declare a variable up here, dim, let's call it global. Global name has drink. This makes this variable available to the whole of this module. So any code that runs within this module, so any of the routines or functions that run within this module can make use of this variable name here, global name, which means that global name cannot be defined again within any of the procedures. Now, as well as the ability to declare variables actually in the module itself, so they're available for the whole module, you can actually change them to private or public. So if I change that dim to public, that not only makes the global name variable, which can hold a string, available to the whole of this module, it makes it available to the whole of the database. So anywhere in this application, I can make use of the global name variable. So we can use it for holding global values, values that are gonna be there throughout the whole of the application. So the whole of somebody's use of this particular application, very useful to be able to declare variables at that level. If we were to change that to a private declaration, notice we don't need the word dim when you're declaring it as private or public, then it means that this variable is only available to this module, which effectively is the same as just declaring it. So the only time you'd perhaps want to change the declaration is whether you want that variable to go global, so available to the whole application, then you would change the dim to public. So the three choices really appear at the module level is to dimension it with dim, or public, I'm going to call that public name as string. Or if you want it to be a private variable, by private we mean restricted to this module, again as string. Now you can do that for variables, you can do that for constants, and you can do that for arrays. All can be declared at this higher level, the module level, to make it available to the whole of this module, or throw in the word public and it becomes available to the whole application. So regardless of which module you're in, when you call that variable or try to place a value in that variable, you will be able to if that variable has been declared as a public variable at the module level. Any variables declared within procedures, so within functions or subroutines, are only available during the lifetime of that subroutine or function. Now hopefully that will become clearer as you use and develop your own code and programs.